So, this new uh, David Bowie biographical film, Stardust, uh, that's out. Um, so, I heard, so I haven't seen it, uh, but I heard some stuff about it. Um, so, it's a movie about the uh, early rise to fame of David Bowie, uh, but it's not actually allowed to use any of David Bowie's music because no one in David Bowie's family wanted the movie to happen. Um, but, like, this thing, this exact same thing, basically, uh, it already happened. Uh, so, like, 90s. Um, Todd Haynes, uh, the guy who would later find um, far greater mainstream biographical success uh, with his um, uh, multifarious uh, take on Bob Dylan, I'm Not There, uh, was set to direct a uh, like relatively straight biography of David Bowie. Uh, this movie was called Velvet Goldmine. But then David Bowie uh, realized that um, the primary uh, reference material for the movie was a biography he didn't actually like. Uh, he was not a fan of the writer's approach to uh, cataloging his life. Um, and uh, that led Bowie to pull uh, the rights uh, to his likeness and stuff. And, but Todd Haynes still had to direct some movie. And instead of making it like an actual biography, he like uh, changed around some names and like merged some real uh, personages into uh, just, you know, uh, like pastiches of, of real figures um, with a bit of his own flair. Uh, so it wasn't a biography. It was actually like a like bizarre, like fantastical view of the way the whole glitter rock scene of the 70s felt. Um, which I actually, I, I'm not the biggest fan of biographies, but I love Velvet Goldmine, man. Uh, and it's like, it, it's like, it takes like some like weird elements too. Like, uh, it posits that the like spark of origination for the entire movement was some like mystic gem that, uh, Oscar Wilde's extraterrestrial, uh, parents gave him at the turn of the century. Uh, so yeah, there was that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it also has, like, Ewan McGregor in the role of, like, some, uh, mash of, like, Iggy Pop and some other dudes, um, with a look that's basically just, like, Kurt Cobain. Um, and this was, like, before Ewan McGregor was famous. This was before Christian Bale was famous, before Jonathan Reese Meyers was famous, Tony Collette. I mean, honestly, I think Eddie Izzard might have been the biggest star in the movie at the time. Um... Anyway, uh, I, I really love that movie. Uh, I doubt that I would have anything like that same love for Stardust, but maybe I'll catch it eventually. Probably not. Um, I mean, I like Queen. I still haven't seen that. Um, whatever. I, I mean, I heard that it was like, good in its way. Like Everyone was good in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Byron's not really my thing. Uh, but Velvet Goldmine, and to an extent, I'm not there. Just for being like, weird, like films that capture the, like, feel of something without being, like, slavishly mimetic to it. Uh, yeah, I, the whole Todd Haynes approach to that kind of thing, mm, I feel that. So, uh, Velvet Goldmine, yeah! Uh, Stardust, mm, uh, but also Neil Gaiman Stardust, yeah!